Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday, there were some sort of exchanges involving former Nairobi governor Mike Mbubi Sonko on one side and Bonfess Mwangi, Lilian Nganga, and Giuliani on the other side. That was yesterday. Yes. And from the look of things, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to appear that there is a bigger objective of this whole uh, drama that maybe Kenyans do not know. So in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to really understand what is really happening behind the scenes. What the political agenda or strategy mm, meant to achieve by some powerful forces by making sure this thing of the of divorce between G Governor Alfred Mutua and Lilian Nanga stays and remains in the social media. That's our analysis and discussion today. So if in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, very first time, subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. Before we dwell into that analysis, let's, let me just give you a preview of some four questions I want us to answer after which you shall just understand what is happening behind the scenes. The first question is somebody trying to use Bonfess Mwangi to fight Mutua politically. Is somebody trying to use Bonface Mwangi and Giuliani in this case to fight Mutua politically? That's the first question. Secondly, is somebody trying to harm Giuliani to blame Mutua for that? Yes. Is somebody trying to harm this young man for Mutua to take the blame? The third question, is somebody trying to use Bonface Mwangi to split Giuliani and Lillian? That's the third question we are going to answer in this video right now. And the fourth and final question, is Lillian Nganga using Giuliani for her healing after which she will dump this young man and move on with her life? That's the fourth question we are also going to answer in this video right now. Yes. So before we answer these questions, let's just see or rather have a look of what transpired yesterday that is still being discussed <laughs> across various political or across various social media platforms as I talk right now. Yesterday, Bonface Mwangi started off the discussion by posting this through his Twitter accounts or other social media handles. Bonface Mwangi. I'm here to offend those men who behave like their partners are personal assets. Assets are dead things. They have no feelings or emotions. Partners have flesh and blood. They can move on and you can do nothing about it. Money doesn't make a man. Manners do. Pesa bila tabia ni sumo. Then Bonface Mwangi shared those photos there. You can see Lillian and Giuliani. And then you can also see Giuliani, Lillian, and Bonface Mwangi. That was that. After Bonface Mwangi had shared that or had tweeted that, Mike Mbobi Sonko, former Nairobi governor, quickly picked it up and had this to say. Mike Sonko, Aki Sipoa, Stop hurting Kavaluku, just move on in peace. You are now endangering the life of the Musani. And then also, also Governor Sonko shared those photos there, you can see there. So for those who know Mike Mbubi Sonko, the relationship between Mike Mbubi Sonko and Mutua, they are not good friends. So in this case, maybe <laughs> Sonko is not actually sympathizing with the governor, but Songo is actually maybe mocking Governor Alfred Mutua. That was Mike Songo post. After Mike 
Songo had posted that. Lillian Ngana actually replied. She had this to say. Two things. Number one, these photos were posted by our friend and in no way whatsoever are they meant to hurt anybody. Number two, my main concern though, Mike Sonko, is why should Juliani's life be in danger for being with me? Then again, she shares those photos there, not th those photos, but she attaches that post from Mike Movie Sonko. So in this Lillian's post, she's not taking issues that Bonface Mwangi had shared those photos of themselves with Giuliani. But Giuliani, on the other hand, if you go to his tweet after Bonface Mwangi had posted that, Giuliani seems to be a little bit, eh? she was not aware of this. And this is what Giuliani had to say. I know you mean well, Lakini, ingekuwa proper to show kabla ku post pics. Bless her. So from this incidents alone, already I'm seeing a disconnect between Giuliani and Lilian Nanga. Lilian Nanga, when she saw the photos or rather the tweets from Bonface Mwangi, she had no issues. But now Giuliani later came and actually raised some concern that Bonface Mwangi posted those photos without consulting them. So you can see Julia, Giuliani and Lilian Nana here are reading from different pages. Maybe Bonface Mwangi informed or consulted Lilian Nana, but never informed or consulted Giuliani before posting those photos. Yes. So our analysis today, or rather the questions I want us to answer, just to start with the first question, is somebody trying to use Bonface Mwangi and Giuliani to fight Governor Mutua politically? Because you know next year we are heading to a general election and politics cannot be ruled out of this. Is somebody trying to use Bonface and Giuliani to fight Mutua politically? That's a very highly and likely possibility. Because I just don't understand how this thing that was fading away, and anytime it tries to fade away, two personalities here, Mike Sonko and Bonface Mwangi, just brings this thing up. They have been very, very consistent about this whole thing. Anytime it fades away, Sonko in one way tries to revive it, and then also Bonface Mwangi, is just in the mix. So most likely, ladies and gentlemen, for those who know the relationship that has existed between Mike Mbubi Sonko and governor of Machakos, Alfred Mutua, they have not been very good friends. I know you can still remember some incidents where governor actually came to the city here, governor Alfred Mutua, and I think he was just trying to say how the city was dirty. That was when Songo was still the governor. So the, their relationship has not been very, very good. And then a day before this post, Governor Alfred Mutua actually attacked Kalonzo Mustioka very badly. He attacked Songo very badly. That's an analysis we did in our yesterday's video. So upon Governor Mutua attacking Kalonzo, these things came up. Immediately, the governor attacked Kalonzo, these things came up. I'm not trying to say that is Kalonzo using these people to fight Mutua, but there might be some very strong forces using Mutua, using Giuliani, and Bonface Mwangi, and even Sonko to fight Governor Alfred Mutua. That's a likely possibility. Second question. Is somebody trying to harm Giuliani to blame Mutua? You know, we are in a game of politics. And politics, as Niccolo Machavendi puts it, politics must have some elements of that in it for it to be real politic. We are not in a church business here. Governor Sonko, by tweeting Akisi Poa, 
Stop hurting Kavaluku. Just move on in peace. You are endangering the life of the Musani. Why is Governor Sonko complaining on behalf of Governor Alfred Mutua? Because this tweet from Sonko, to me it appears as a direct kind of a threat on the life of Giuliani. And should something happen to Giuliani today, the person who will take the blame is none other than Governor Alfred Mutua. So Mike Mbumi Sonko is cleverly trying to threaten, or rather it seems to appear that he's threatening Giuliani, but indirectly. So should something happen, because you know Sonko has following, he's got support. And some of his supporters maybe, even without Sonko's knowledge, can make sure they attack or injure Giuliani for Governor Alfred Mutua to be blamed. I'm not trying to say that is what will happen, but it can happen that way. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, I can also say here authoritatively that some powerful forces might be trying to harm Giuliani in order to blame Machakos governor Alfred Mutua. That's a likely possibility. So in this case, Giuliani has to be very, very careful for he's in the mix of very high octane politics that he doesn't know or understand what is being played here. Giuliani, to me, seems to be a naive, some kind of a stupid boy who is just in the mix. He does not know actually what is happening. The third question, is somebody trying to use Bonfess Mwangi to break or split Giuliani and Lillian? Upon Bonfess Mwangi sharing those posts, or rather those tweets, Lillian Nganga, when she tweeted first, she had no issues, I mean. But later, Giuliani had issues. Giuliani says they were not informed. So it can also be possible that Bonfess Mwangi, before posting this, informed Lillian, but never informed Giuliani. That's why Lillian had no issues at first, but now later when <laughs> Giuliani complained, maybe now Julian is now, was now just exposed. So in this case again, there might be some conspiracy here. Hmm? There might be some conspiracy here to break these two lovebirds, Giuliani and Lillian. And also, let's have a look at that short clip there of Giuliani, Lillian, Giuliani, Lillian, and Bonfess Mwangi. Bonfess Mwangi is the person capturing the video. Have a look at that video. So this is a video, say something. Say my key to Julie. Say my key to Beba Beba Dandora Dandora. Beba Beba Beba. Beba Mrebo Beba Mrebo Beba Mrebo Tuenda 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 Tuenda. Yeah. I'm a Beba Uyo. From that video, you can also see clearly that actually it's Bonface Mwangi who is pushing these two lovebirds. In that case, you can see a matatu there. You can also see Giuliani pretending to be the bus conductor and then Lillian pretending to be the passenger. And Bonface Mwangi is now pushing Giuliani, Kubeba, Lillian. That's a direct insult and attack against the governor. And that has the potential of infuriating the governor, who might also act. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, Bonface Mwangi maybe again is just being tried also to split this duo or maybe to insp or rather to spite the governor. And when the governor is spitted, the person to suffer in this case, I believe, is Giuliani. So Giuliani, Giuliani must also be very, very careful here. And then finally, or the fourth question, is Lillian Nganga using Giuliani to spite her ex-husband, Governor Alfred Mutua? That's also a possibility. A possibility I can't rule out. Because I don't just understand how somebody moves direct, straight away from a marriage 
into another relationship. I'm not an expert in that field and I don't want to pretend to know. Mm -hmm. But I don't just understand it. You move from a relation, from a marriage, not even a boyfriend, girlfriend, you move from a marriage right into another relationship. I just don't understand that. There must be some healing period here in between. So maybe Lilian Nganga here is just using Juliani for her own healing. After which, if she has healed, she may dump this young boy here and move on with her life. I tend to believe something like that. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. To those watching us outside of Kenya, for the very, very first time, very first time, drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are also watching us from. Drop a comment. To our esteemed fans in this YouTube channel, God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana.